Welcome back to the tutorial series. In this video, uh, we're going to talk about converting between variables. In the last few videos, we were talking about variables, how to declare um, declare variables, tell Scar they exist, how to give them a value and then use them, and we learned how to manipulate them, how to um, give them a value from a command, and also how to add, subtract them, how to add strings, and how to add um, something unto itself. Uh, so, if you haven't seen that, you should definitely check it out. You probably need it for this. Uh, so, let's start with converting variables. Now, you know that SCAR uh, has two types, uh, I mean, three main types of variables that we're going to use. There are actually many more, but we're just going to use three types. They are integer, string, and boolean. Right now, we're only going to worry about string and integer uh, for converting. Now, up to this point, we've never really had to convert between uh, variables, but I'm going to show you a case where you will have to convert. So, let's make up a case. Let's say that we have some text, um, and text will be a string, and we have another variable. Let's call it number, N-U-M. That's going to be an integer. So, we have two variables. One is named text, and it's a string. It's type, the type of variable is a string. The other one is named num, but it's a type integer. Now, let's say that, um, let's add another variable, number two, all right? And number three, let's do that, all right? So, we have, we have three variables that are integers and one that is text. Let's give text a value first. Let's give text, it'll be, um, it'll be five. It'll be a text five, though. This, remember, this is not a number. This is just text. It's just like a bunch of characters in there. It doesn't, doesn't, SCAR doesn't recognize it as a number. It just re recognizes it as text uh, because, of the, because text is a string, and string can, also, can always also only be text, okay? So now, what if we wanted to capture whatever text means and make it an integer so we can use it? Well, so first let's say number, we want to add two numbers. We want to add whatever this means plus three. So let's make the second one three. All right. Now we have to convert this text into a, into a number so that we can store it and then later add it. Okay, so what we do is we say number two, the second inter integer that we declared right here, we said number two is an integer. Uh, this is going to represent and we use this function, the command, that, that's a function that returns a value. We use, uh, it's called strings, str to int, string to integer, see, string to integer. And uh, the value that it accepts is a string, see, it accepts a string and it returns, it gives you back an integer, long integer, it's a type of integer. Okay, so the this, this text we're going to put into this command is text. It's whatever text represents. In this case, it'll be uh, this right here, 5, the, str the string 5. Okay, and what str string to integer is going to do is going to search this text for any numbers and combine them and then convert them into the type of integer, not string, but integer, and it'll return it, and we'll store it in this, in this variable called number 2. Okay. And now, finally, let's add the, three, the two variables. Let's say number three equals number uh, plus number two. All right. And now let's print out. All right, number three. All right, we get eight. Now, what if what if we didn't do this part? What if we just ignored this right here? If we if we um if, if you know if you didn't know that you had to convert between number and uh, text. So if you just have, instead of number two, if you just use, use text because you think, well, you know, text is five and number is three. So if we add them, there should be eight, right? Well, you would actually get an error. See, type mismatch. That means that the types, number three is an integer. So whatever you give it has to be just an integer. But what you're giving it is an integer, a number, and you're also giving a string. You, those are two, you can't combine those two. Scar won't let you. So remember, you have to convert first, and we can also go the other way around. We could say convert. Um, we can convert an integer to a string. So let's see. Let's say uh, if we had, let's say, um, text equals, let's say five. Number equals three. It's the same thing. Number equals three. But this time we want to we want to print out uh, fifty-three. So instead of uh, 
let's not have this. Instead, we'll have we'll do the other way. It'll be text two, text three. All right. So now what we want to do is we want to convert three to a string because we want to print out fifty-three, not eight. Okay. So what you do is you say text two, same way, text two equals, and this time we use a we use a command called integer to string because we want to convert from an integer to a string. So int to string, and see it takes it takes a value integer in, in sixty-four, just the type of integer, uh, and it returns a string. It gives you back a string. Uh, so let's put in the number, whatever number represents. In this, in this case, it represents the integer three, and so it'll take three and it'll convert it into a string. Uh, so the so text two will be like three. That's what it'll be at the end. Okay. Now we want to add the two. Let's say text three equals text one. No one. Text two plus text. Okay. And now let's print out text three. 53. So just go back in the video and see the difference between the two. Why Why is 5 plus 3 different now than it was before? Well, it's because we converted, this time we converted the number to a string, to text, and then we added the text together. So it's kind of like adding the, num the character, whatever character 5 is, adding that to character 3, and that makes like a, like a string, uh, uh, some text. But in the other case, the first time we did it, we converted this to a number and then we added the numbers. So it was like a math operation instead of um, just adding uh, strings. Now where could this actually be useful? Uh, well, um, you know that that command that we learned in the la last video was uh, the command read line. Well, read line only returns a string. Whatever you put into read line, you know, in that box that pops up in the if you if you put in five, it'll return the string five, not the number five, the string five. You know, like the pink the pink um, text five. That's what it'll return if you if you put in five. So sometimes, let's say you want to make like a simple add addition calculator. Let's say you have two texts and three numbers. Let's do that. Try this. Just follow along with me. Write this yourself too. All right. So we have. Two texts, and um, so we're going to store two numbers. We're going to ask the user to give us two numbers, and we're going to add them, and then we're going to return whatever it equals. Okay, so let's start out by asking the user for the two numbers. So let's say, let's ask the user. We, remember, we have to store it in a string because let's see, re, when you write read line, see, look at this right here. It says it's a function, it means it returns something, it gives something back to you. And it's called read line, and it takes one option that's a string, it's text. This option is just text. So you give it some text, and it gives you back some text. Remember, string text, it's not anything, it's just it's text. So it'll always be text. That way, that's why you need this to be text. On the left side, it has to be text. This variable has to be of type string. Alright, so text is of type string, so we can use it. And so what do we ask? Uh, we ask give us your first number all right let's leave this for now all right so we captured the first number that they give us to give us a, no, a number but remember it's string it's still string so to um, store it as a number we actually have to do number equals and we have to convert it so string to integer we're converting from a string to an integer and we say convert whatever text is into an integer and then store it in the variable called number now we, we have to ask for the second one. Let's say text2 equals read line. Give us your second number. All right, and let's store this one. And once again, we have to convert it. So we'll convert string to integer, and we'll say text2. This variable right here, whatever it stands for, will be converted into a number. Finally, we have to add add number plus number two. Remember this is addition, so we want to add. All right, and now let's print it out. So right line, whatever number three stands for. All right, so let's try it out. All right, so give us your first number. Let's say five, and the second number will be three, and it prints out eight. See? 
And uh, now write line is a command. It's really weird because it accepts more than it accepts any type of um, variable. See the x here? It has no type. It's not a string or an integer or a boolean. It's it can be anything you want, but it has to be only one thing. So for example, our number three is an integer. So we can't add a string to it. Like we have to. The only thing we can do is add another another uh, integer. So we can only add three or you know some number. But what if we wanted to print out? Let's, let's see if we did this. Let's say we said your answer is, and then we said um, number three. You know we want to say your answer is, and then we say number three. Well, let's try run it and see. What we get we get an error. It says that type mismatch on line 30 on line 14 so here it sees that your name is a string but this is an integer you can't have that so how can we fix this well we can do something like this um, let's add another variable here called text 3 and we'll say after this after we add it we'll say text 3 equals and let's convert number 3 this variable into a text and we can say uh, integer to string we'll say number 3 all right, so now text three is is a integer, and before that we can say uh, your name is, and then we add it to that. See, this returns a string, so we add one string with two string with a second string. Remember, we can do that. We can add two strings together. Well, this just returns a string, and we add it to the first part. All right, now we can just print out text three. Let's try it, three and five. Oops, I guess we meant, we meant number, but you get the point. Um, three and five, let's see, your number is eight. So I added the two numbers. So let's go over it real quick before we end the video. So we have six variables. We have three strings, they're text, and three integers, they're just numbers. The first thing we do is we ask the user for an answer. We say, give us your first number. We store it as text because this returns only returns text. So we, we store it as a string. And then we say, well, we want to use that number. We want to add it later. So we want to convert it to whatever we got, the text, to an integer so we can use it later. So we use this command string to integer. We give a text for the input for the option, and it gives us a, an integer, and we store it in the in the variable called number. We do the same thing again for the second variable. For text two, we store the second number, and we convert text two to a number, and we store it in number two. Finally, then we add num we add number and number two because they're they're integers now. We can add them, so we add number and number two. When you get number three. And finally, we uh, use the third string, text3, to store this your number is, and plus we add a, a converted converted version of number 3, a string version of number 3. Because we this command, integer to string, converts number 3, which is an, an integer, into a string. And then, you know, it, this represents whatever number 3 is. So your number is in whatever number 3 stands for. Finally, we write it. Okay, this may seem a little confusing, but once again, um, try to practice a little bit and go through go through it step by step, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. We'll go a little deeper. Thanks for watching.